everyone, welcome back to a new travel vlog from Shargao Island, one of my favorite places on earth. And I'm finally back after almost nine months. Last time I was here was in May 2022, and now we're back. On this trip, we are highlighting a new villa. Probably gonna become one of the most sought after Airbnbs slash resorts here in uh, the island. The place is called Rice Haven Villas, and there's a link in the description of this video. If you guys wanna check it out, it's listing on Airbnb in a month. So yeah, we're one of the first people to really get to stay here and we brought all our camera gear, all everything we have and own to help the owners, Michael and Rose, to kind of shoot content for this place. So that is a very, very cool thing and I'm very thankful for that opportunity. So yeah, come on, look at this place. Just this kitchen alone, the standard of this is like, I don't think you can find this type of villa anywhere else here in Chargao. And then on top of that, it's located in Santa Fe. So you have these beautiful rice patties, very calm, no one disturbing you. I think, yeah, one of the most secluded places with this type of view. And my friend Chris is with me on this trip. You guys probably know him from my Bangkok videos or my Bali videos. He's uh, becoming a really good friend of mine in Manila. Open out and together we are touring. Got some drone shots just now. I'm very excited to show it to you. Also in this video, I'll be highlighting some of my favorite restaurants, coffee shops, and things that we do while we are here in Shargao. So yeah, welcome to the island life guys hope to have you on board Hey Chris, go for a workout. Let's do it, man. We're not getting any younger. We need to <laughs> detox our bodies. <laughs> We're gonna go to a real island gym, show you what that is like. The nice thing about this villa though, is that we have our motorcycles parked down here in the garage. I'll show you what that looks like. You guys see here, our motorcycles are like parked here and this car garage is huge. And uh, they're planning to put like a gym here and they also have a sauna. Just like, I don't know if any other Airbnb slash resort here in Chargao has that. Though this place is very, very nice, man. What a dream. We're gonna be living here for one week, so I don't think there will be a problem with getting footage. Those of you who have been following the vlogs for a while, I have a motorcycle that you might be aware of. It's called Blue. It's a bike that I have here in Chargao Island that I use when I'm here. But Chris rented out. Uh, another motorcycle, very, very nice one, custom built from a place called Loose Keys. You rent it out for about 500 to 1,000 a day, depending on how long you rent it. If you rent it for a week, you can probably bring that down. You get a really nice bike to drive around. So this is the property where Rice Haven Villas are built. They're also building a second villa right next to the one we're living in, identical. So that's gonna be ready soon. Beautiful place, beautiful place. We're also like looking to put in a restaurant here. So I'm pretty sure that this spot will be developed and it's gonna look so, so beautiful but it's already so nice and secluded and private. What's up, bro? <laughs> Chris had to change his bike because the other one was not running. So he got like a bobber. Very nice. <laughs> All right, we made it to Lanikai. We made it to Ilakai Hostel. And this, these guys have a walk-in gym, which we're gonna use right now. So islandy, huh? How nice is this? Yeah. Huh? Not bad, Chris, huh? Not bad, showing up in flip-flops, island style. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Let's go. Had 
lunch at one of my favorite spots here in Chargao. Aoi. So good Pokeball. Very authentic. Coming from someone that lived in Hawaii for two and a half years. When I come here, it brings me back that taste. The authentic ahi poke bowl. Spicy ahi poke bowl. You just have to try it. I'm sorry. I was so hungry that I ate it before I could show it to you. <laughs> we'll probably go back here another day. Chris, what do you say? Sauna? Sauna, cold plunge, Oof. and a nap. Let's go. Wow. Yeah! Okay guys, local gas station. Before, every Korea would have gas in Coca-Cola bottles at home, but they made a rule so it's not allowed anymore. Now we have to find these portable gas stations everywhere on the island. Having some trouble with opening the lid. This motorcycle is so much fun to drive. A very different build if you look at mine versus this. Yeah! Guys, it's dinner time and we are visiting our friends at Sunday Chargao. There's a dog here today that has birthday and he's three years old. Corey. Dog, right? Yeah. Hi! Hi! Oh, Congratulations, happy birthday! <laughs> hi! Nino! Say hi to Nino Martin! <laughs> wow! Look at all these dogs! Coles, explain! I know! I don't know what happened! One day they just... Supposedly it's just one dog. Uh -huh. The one who's um, celebrating his birthday. Then we were like, okay, um, he's lonely, so we're gonna get another one, which is the Corgi uh -huh. mom. Uh -huh. Then when we brought the Corgi mom to Manila, my mom was like, okay, before you leave to Shargao, can you can you make her pregnant first and sell the puppies after? Uh -huh. But then I get I got attached one month after she got pregnant, and this happened. So you kept all the dogs. <laughs> hi. Say hi. 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 They're all in um, superheroes. Wow. Because the theme of Corey's birthday is yeah, superheroes. <laughs> <laughs> you have to see this. You have to see I the background. It. Oh my god. He even has his own. Wow. Dinner time. Um. Ooh. How cool. Guys, it's dinner time in Chargao and me and Chris were testing out a new Japanese place that I've never been to. It's called Nami. Still haven't been to Japan, so I'm very excited to hear that this place is almost as good as in Japan. Super cute restaurant, a lot of seating. You should, however, consider booking a table if you're coming here. There is about two, four, six, it's, it can room about 15 people. So if it's a busy day, you might not get a seat. Located in the heart of GL, right next to Isla Cabana. This is our Ate. What's your name, Ate? I'm Richie. Richie? Ah, she, she yeah. will be your server when you are here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. And she put in a special request for Chris. Tell us about it. Well, because Ate is not here, then I need to make up for the lack of rice eating in this team. So I asked them <laughs> to uh, to create a, a, a fried rice for us. <laughs> I asked for chaan, but uh, this is what they came up with. And it's not on the menu, so... Pretty so cool, pretty cool. <laughs> I find it cool. Day two here in Chargao. I never want to leave. And this morning, Chris borrowed me his uh, Quicksilver. What's it called again, Chris? Oh, rash, rash, rash Guard. His Quicksilver Rash Guard. Because we're going out with Michael, which I still haven't introduced to you guys in this vlog. Um, owner of the villa. He has a jet ski. So when you're renting the villa, you also kind of have access to it through him, which is pretty cool. And uh, we're going to go out here in Santa Fe, cruise a little bit, hopefully just have a good time. As you guys can see, we don't play around here. <laughs> Okay, so you have my dream in one photo. There you go. Good morning, Chris! Top of the morning to you. <laughs> Skirt! 
Morning, Michael. <laughs> yes, Lungo. Yes, coffee volume. Uh, large, please. Big coffee volume. And start. Yes. All right, it's time to set the jet ski into the water. Good morning, Michael. Good morning, man. <laughs> Yeah. An adventure. <laughs> this is not our typical morning here in Shargao, but we are loving every second of it. We are now in a uh, barangay called Libertad, and some good surf spots are right out there. Okay, so I'm going to push this in uh -huh. and then go in with it. Okay. But I might, if you can help me just push it on the other side, John, please. Oh. oh, that's it. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That's the way to do it. He timed it perfectly too. Oh, that's it. Yeah! Chris! What do you say, man? I have nothing. I have no words. I have no words either. Yeah, this is the way to do Shargao. Hey. Yeah! Guys, Shargao is still raining. So, we couldn't do too much jet ski. We did a lot. It was fun. We're now going to check out a new place that I've never been to on the back row here in Shargao. And it is called... Vedia Cafeteria and... Adinteria. Wow! So cool. Hi. Look at this. So much good food. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. Freshly baked stuff. Yeah. Cool. Love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. in the villa nice this is such a dream to come home to natural sounds you guys hear how quiet it is here not a single disturbance so this is kind of like the life i envision for myself where i'm spending some time in manila making business doing things and then i escape to shargao for like a week our ratio would be like three months in shargao one month in manila i don't know it's a dream of mine. So if you're uh, watching this from Manila and you need a little getaway, check out these guys, Rice Haven Villas, linked in the description. We'll have everything you need here and get the tranquility and get the energy to go back and hustle. But in that work. Okay, I'm gonna get to the editing of some of the photos that I've been taking from, from the villa. There. <laughs> you, can, you can join. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's gonna be fun. And then we have some people coming over later, shoot some more content here. Yeah, check out the Instagram. Their Instagram is linked in the description of this video. And by the time you're watching this, it should be live. And hopefully most of the photos that's on there, it's the stuff we have produced while we are here. You guys can get an idea of plugging my own company here. Travel Film, check us out. Not everything is a charm, huh? What's going on? 
Hey, Chris, I'll just be filming you. Guys, it's it. This is shark hour for you. It's a little windy sometimes. Luckily, Chris was able to react fast enough before that thing flew. I'll come and help you. Guys, we have now been driving to Pilar, okay? And tomorrow we are going out on a very cool fishing experience, deep sea fishing here in Shargao, which I've never done, even though I've lived on the island for almost a whole year, I never got to do this. So if you know the location of Shargao, it's an island that's facing the Pacific. It's nothing between Shargao and Hawaii, and then the US West Coast. So as you can imagine, the fishing here is really amazing. And there is a company that's offering deep sea fishing here in Shargao, uh, which we're gonna go out with tomorrow. So a little bit about that, but it will probably be its own vlog too, which I am very excited about. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more of that. down you guys won't believe this place uh, they have a very special feature all the way from Japan which is so cool here is Cliff, Cliff. Oh, Captain. Captain Cliff Hello. tomorrow you will see Captain Cliff in action and look at this place so we're again we're in P Pilar this is where Hook Pro starts some of their tours unless you're getting picked up closer to GL. This is probably where you will be spending the day before your fishing experience. At Hoshima, cooking some traditional uh, Japanese uh, sukiyaki or something. Yeah. Uh, out of kindness because yes. we didn't have dinner. We arrived. We drove late. to come here and it's kind of late. And he offered to make dinner. How oh, nice. Thank you so much, Chef. Well, this looks amazing. Very nice. Those are actually my favorite noodles in the world. Uh, do you know the legend about the Japanese soldiers who dropped gold around the island? Do you know about this uh, legend? So what do you mean? The last second world war? Yes. I believe yes. that was yes. the, the, the time when uh, Here a in bunch the of gold... Especially uh, General Yamashita. General? Yamashita. Yeah. Yamashita. Okay. Very famous Yamashita gold. Yeah. Ah, okay. That's what it's called, Yamashita gold. Still, uh, for the hard time, there's so many Japanese gold here, but I don't know. And do you believe in it or not? Yeah. Some uh, gold they found in uh, uh, Manila in uh, Intramuros. Intramuros. Yes. Okay. Japanese gold from Second World War? Come from Malaysia. Malaysia. From Malaysia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Before, uh, yeah, the uh, Japanese uh, are the, you know, they fight in the uh, British and then it's a land and then... Because there's rumors that there's Japanese gold here in Shargao. In Shargao. Yes. I, according to a friend of uh, Mauro, the, the Jake, uh -oh. Jake Miranda, uh, he's uh, before the, uh, I think maybe of the uh, US, and he made some uh, museum of the Rigao, mm. and there's so many like a uh, bomb or, you know, mm. Yeah, submarine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, right, right, right. Yeah, like leftovers, um, submarines, and, and old bombs that haven't de detonated or stuff like that. Yeah, maybe, maybe, yes. maybe, maybe. But uh, the place, the place where I saw the most Japanese shipwrecks was in uh, in, uh, well, actually American shipwrecks was in Koran. Mm, all the, yeah, that's all the true. boats that got sunk by the Japanese yeah. there. Right? Uh, it's beautiful, so, uh, great diving. There's no reason to hide your face. I could see. Wow, I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. <laughs> Authentic Japanese soup. I can't believe it. <laughs> Guys, this is so good. Yes. We are we are spoiled. Thank you. We're absolutely spoiled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, Chris, not bad. He just walked in and he just offered to make us some noodle. Honestly, I was thinking he had some cup noodles, but no. Hooks up the most impressive noodle soup dish that, yeah, he just cooked it right in front of us. It smells amazing. We have this authentic long Japanese sticks, is the word. It's gonna be good. Oh, shit. 
Wow. Wow. What a dream place. Wow. Now we're talking, Chris. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Sing. 